Hi friends, welcome to episode number three of our functional consultant series. So if you are already working as a functional consultant and thinking about whether is it a career worth pursuing or not, and uh, if you are aspiring to become a functional consultant and willing to learn about what are all the opportunities available as a functional consultant, and what is the what is typically the ecosystem in which the functional consultant role exists. So those are the things which we are going to discuss today. Not only that, we'll also discuss in detail about typically the salary range offered to the functional consultants across multiple geographies. That will be of really great interest to you. So make sure that you watch the video until end. And with that note, let's quickly jump into today's video. Functional consultant, is it worth pursuing or not? We already discussed in detail about who is a functional consultant and what are all the skills which are actually required to become a functional consultant, right? But the question now is, is it a career worth pursuing or not? Of course, the answer is yes, no doubt about that. Considering three major reasons which I strongly feel that the functional consultant is a career worth pursuing. Number one, high demand. Number two, technology and diverse learning. Number three, global opportunities. Of course, number four, I would say salary offer. But talking about number one, high demand. Organizations need expertise around product and processes. Functional consultants specialize in various business process areas within finance, supply chain, HR, retail, and commerce. So organizations need functional con consultants to navigate through these complexities in terms of identifying the right technology because without which they will not be able to reimagine and meet the customer and business requirements and uh, adapt those processes like source to pay, order to cash, hire to retail and many more. So demand for such a role is not going to come down, especially in the ages of AI. But you should be willing to learn every day. Number two, technology. The strong demand for functional consultants primarily driven by the factor that every organization looks for technological transformations, with enterprises and multinational corporations looking for the right technology platform to solve their business problems. And with every product company like Microsoft Dynamics 365, SAP, Oracle, Salesforce, they are actively working towards enhancing the existing features or deprecating some of the less used features. And it is a continuous process. So on organizations on the other side, they are working towards making investments not for one or two years, but it's a decade of investment for the right technologies. So they want to make a conscious call in terms of consulting the right people and appropriately investing in the right product to solve their business problems. So functional consultants are the go-to person for the organizations in order to make those decade of investments. Number three, global opportunities. Products like Dynamics 365, SAP, Oracle being used worldwide by multinational corporations, you get opportunities to work with international clients and potentially relocate to global project sites. You will have opportunity to interact with people, connect with them across geographies, culture and language. Of course, you need to travel often, which is sometimes feel hectic because of the work schedule and uh, the basic requirements to be on the as a front end with the client in order to understand their requirements. So if travel, interacting with people across geographies, culture, working across time zone, if that is something which really excites you, functional consultant is a fantastic career opportunity to pursue and no doubt about that. Before understanding what is the average salary that is offered for functional consultant, let's try to understand the ecosystem in which the role of functional consultant exists. Typically, this is the ecosystem which is generally available across all the product companies. We have the product, partner and customer. So these are the three pillars in which the functional consultant role rightly fits. You work as a functional consultant in the product or with a partner who actually takes the product and implement it in the customer end or you work as a functional consultant in the customer or as an end user who are actually using the technology, right? So, and then primarily you become a functional consultant. For example, in my case, I started off my career as an end user for Microsoft Dynamics Acceptor in an automotive conglomerate. 
after getting the deep expertise and experience of the product and the domain knowledge and then I moved on from the customer to the partner Deloitte where I worked as a functional consultant and where I was helping the organizations to achieve the digital transformation goals. And later on in my career, I moved from Deloitte to Microsoft as a senior product manager. So that's how I progressed my career, right from working as an end user, then I worked on as a functional consultant, and right now I'm working as a product manager in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So if you want, you can also work as a freelance consultant, because some of the organizations post go live, they look for freelance consultants because they act as a low cost alternative compared to some of the established partners. So you can also do freelance consulting, which is also a fantastic career opportunity, I would say as a functional consultant. So talking about the salaries which are offered to the functional consultants, it of course depends on various factors like experience, industry you work with, location and designation. Considering a functional consultant with around the experience of 8 to 10 years, I would say a functional consultant in North American market earns between somewhere around $100,000 to $150,000. And um, in case of Europe, the functional consultants with a similar experience of 8 to 10 years, they earn somewhere between 65,000 euro to 80, 90,000 euros. And in case of markets like India, the emerging markets where the functional consultants earn somewhere between 20 lakhs per annum to 30 lakhs per annum. And uh, in case of markets like Middle East, where they earn somewhere between 120,000 dirhams to 180,000 dirhams. So this is subject to change and uh, this is purely based on the knowledge and the network what I have. And this is not based on any specific research or website. So this is just to give you some idea about typically what is the salary range offered to functional consultants. And trust me, it's a career worth pursuing. So thanks for watching this video. This brings us to the end of this particular episode. I hope you got some understanding of the role of functional consultant and typically what are all the career opportunities available for functional consultant. But in the next episode, we will discuss in detail about the frequently asked interview questions. And I'm sure that will be of really great interest to you. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel D3Straight Talks or follow my profile in LinkedIn.